April showers bring May flowers. But maybe we're not seeing as many flowers as we'd like. Let's make some of our own today. You can look around your house and see whatever you have. Look for some colors of paper or just white and get out your markers and crayons. If you have some scraps, we can use those too. Also, you could see if you have some muffin papers. These will be a lot of fun today. And I'll show you a couple ways you can make flowers out of muffin papers. Start with a plain piece of paper. And the first thing we could do for our tiny little artists is to make a very basic little flower. Sometimes we need help cutting and that's okay. We can start with our thumb down here and our thumb down here with our scissors and we can just make one green stem. If you don't have any green paper, you can use your white paper and use your green crayon or your green marker and you can make a stem. If you have a glue stick or your glue, you can use either one. Let's put our stem on our paper and start down at the bottom so you have room for your flower up here. Don't we love our glue sticks? How fun they are. If you have muffin papers in your house, look how big that flower could be. Take your muffin paper and let's make him flat. Nice and flat. You might have a couple different colors of muffin papers. Make them flat and use your glue stick. That's where he can go, right there. If you want to make a center for your flower, you can do that. You can let it ruffle up on the edge, or you could glue him all down. Those are fun, I like those. You could also leave your muffin paper standing up. Isn't that fun? If you want to make a center, you can cut out a center of paper in the middle. Use your scrap paper and cut out some of those. Make your green stem. Find some muffin papers and just put some glue on the bottom and glue that down. That would be a fun flower. Another one you could try is to make it very ruffly. Look at that. Start with your paper. You can use your marker. We need a stem, don't we, on our flower. Make a tall one. Maybe one that's shorter. Maybe you like a leaf for your flower. For this one, I like to take my scissors and cut right to the middle. I'm not going to cut into the circle. I'm just going to go all the way around. All the way around. Turn your paper. Keep your scissors down here and cut up. Isn't that pretty how that looks roughly on that flower? I like that one. Don't glue the edges down. Just glue the middle. And look how that looks. That's a fun one. Here's another pretty flower we're starting to see outside in the springtime. A daffodil. Take your scrap paper and you might want to make some daffodil petals. And look what I did here. I have two muffin papers. I glued one down and then I glued another one. Isn't that a fun paper? Now you can use your green crayon, your green marker, or sometimes we have craft sticks. And sometimes they come in colors. Okay, you might have some of those to make your stem. That makes a very pretty daffodil. Here's another flower I love to make. What are these? Q-tips, yes. You can use construction paper. You can use your crayon, make a stem. And if you have glue, even a glue stick, you're going to make some lines of glue. Look at that. These are what? Q-tips. 
Sometimes we need help cutting those from a grown-up. But you can lay your Q-tip right in the glue. Make some lines of glue and lay those down. And this will need to sit and dry. Right there. And what did I put in the center of my flower? I had some scrap yellow paper. Yep. I cut out a circle. That could go right in the middle, couldn't it? I'm going to put some glue on that. And it's not going to lay flat on the paper. It will glue right to our Q-tips, right in the middle. Look at that. That makes a pretty flower. Let that one sit and dry because that will need to set and it will glue to, to your Q-tip petals. One more fun flower I want to show you today. Don't we love to trace our hand? Isn't that fun? Any of these flowers today you might make and mail to your grandma. Moms love to make them with you. I traced my hand because look where we can put some flowers. We can trace our hand and make some flowers. What I did today was I made the letter U, didn't I? Looks like a U. When you have that cut out like a U, turn them upside down. And start at the corner, cut in just a little bit. I'm going to make some little V's. Look at that. A little triangle cut out. Looks like the letter V. Cut one more time. And from the other corner. What flower did I make? A tulip. Isn't that pretty? That's where we can glue those flowers right at the end of our fingers after we trace our hand and cut that out. That makes a fun gift for somebody. And what did I make down here? A flower pot? Mm-hmm. If you have some brown paper, you can take a piece and you can fold it in half. And all you really have to do is leave the fold at the top. And you're going to go from corner to the bottom, kind of like a wide V. I'm going to the corner. Look at that. And over here, we'll kind of start at the bottom in the middle, go up to the corner. Because if we make a flower pot, it can open up either way. Look what I wrote. A message to mom. You can make any kind of vase or flower pot. Trace your hand today, any color paper, even your white paper. Use your white paper and color it all colors you want to. These look like green stems, don't they? Have fun today. Look around your house, find your scraps of paper. There's so much we can make, and you can make some beautiful flowers, I'm sure. Get out your crayons, your markers, ask for some help if you need it with the scissors, and have a great day making some flowers to brighten up your house, even brighten up somebody's day.